This little game. I don't want to keep this hand because, uh, no econ. This one's better. I actually have a lot of options here. I could test run Scavenge Magnum Opus, like, immediately. But I need more cards. Like, one of these Nemchips will do. Next turn, I'm gonna Opus Opus Test Run Scavenge. Or, uh, Contacts Contacts Test Run Scavenge. I have a feeling that this is a breaking news that he's going to kill my contacts, but I don't care because I'm getting Opus. I think I'm getting Opus. I have no other breakers, uh, but I still will do it. Opus is just that good against NBN. I expect that this uh, Pro Contacts is going to get killed, but uh, I got to use it like four times, so... It like trades evenly with the tag and it also forces him into this position of trying to kill it as soon as possible. And now I can gain a lot of money. After he kills this, uh, oh no, it's just Jackson Howard. So he Jackson Howard to draw some cards, plays a hedge fund, I guess further ices up R&D. Oh no, archives. So he knows, he, he's, he's aware that I could just be sneak dooring him. Um, I could face check now. It wouldn't be awful. I could keep drawing. I'm going to need to find breakers. I'm going to discard Katie Jones and a mem chip. I'm sort of letting him run away with this game a little bit by not face checking anything. But I would like to get an SMC out so I don't lose my uh, Opus 2, you know, stuff. I think now is my face checking opportunity. I can always get back Opus with Scavenge if he roto turrets it. Though I don't fully expect roto turret. Although, actually. Uh, I'll, I'll get tagged here, I don't care. Don't care. I'm gonna be floating these tags. Another hedge fund. Jeez. All right, I'm gonna get uh, one last use out of this contact before it dies, and I'll discard. Um. I'll discard. Keyhole, I think. I really don't care about this tag at all. There's Sansan San character assassination Ash, I have to think. Maybe Bernice is in there. Um, I really don't care. 
care too much about that. I'm going to keep going at R&D. TMI. And I'll just draw a card. Okay, interesting uh, to draw Femme there. That will definitely help me get around all of his res dice right now. Finally decides to blow up my pro contacts. I wonder what this ice is that he didn't want to res so badly. Um... Eli, huh? Why wouldn't he want to res that? Does he have mid-seasons on me? Um... Should I play around closed accounts? I don't know. Maybe I should come into a Sansan -San server? I think I'm actually just going to draw a card and I'm going to fem this Eli right now. Just to play around close accounts to some degree. If he uh, reses Sansan and scores anything, I'm going to go and uh, trash it with Imp. I'm going to go and trash that with Imp, that's for sure. And I'll take some more credits. This is going to really pressure him to score now. What is this? Just Sansan Astro Niche? Did he discard all of his Astros? He would have scored an Astro by now if it was sitting in that server. So I have to think this is Bernice or Ash. Probably Bernice, Ash, Sansan, and then Ash. Everybody's playing my deck now. Um, I don't... I'm not terribly interested in trashing... Uh, the Sansan before he reses it. Let's draw. Need some more breakers. Katie doesn't help. keep drawing, actually. I really would like to find a Parasite, or a way to get Parasite, Jin. That's pretty good. Uh, I don't have memory for it, so I'm just going to install this now. If he wants to burn all of his money uh, scoring an Astro script, I'll let him, and then I'll just go for the R&D lock. Okay, so no, he goes for Jackson. Really awkward that I want to parasite these pop-up windows so badly, but that's what I want to do. Uh, I guess I'll run Jackson first. So he overdrew some agendas. He probably is keeping an Astro script. Why don't I uh, run here? Toll booth, huh? Uh, okay.
Um, okay, so now he's like really dead broke. Unfortunately, I've only got one fem, so I'm not going to be able to stay on that Eli. I could scavenge the fem to the toll booth, then parasite the Eli. But he's like dead on credit. I really, really don't want to give him pop up window credit. So let's kill this pop up window on HQ actually. Um, then let's play Data Sucker to start getting some credits from that. Or, uh, Virus Counter, rather. I think he's probably got one agenda in his hand right now, at least. Scorched Earth! Oh my god! <laughs> I was dead if I didn't hit that. That totally surprised me. I just... <laughs> Kim knows I'm a serial tag floater, so... That's probably a pop-up window. So I'm going to check HQ. Another sand sand. That's fine. Should I check this pad campaign out? No, he's only got one credit, so I'll just draw a card to stay out of scorch range. <laughs> Another Jackson Howard. Okay, so he's gonna put back his scorch now. I have to think. Pretty sloppy. I mean, like, I always make, like, these wild assumptions about what people are playing. And, like, lots of the time, I'll, like, lose to somebody playing HP with a snare in their deck just because I'm like, oh, they're HP. Or something like that. Um. I guess I'll run Jackson Howard. The problem with the scavenge is, I really want to scavenge the Femme. Because now I have Corroder to get through Eli with Data Suckers, and it's not that much worse. But I don't want to run R&D, because I don't want to give him money. Um, so instead, I'm going to draw a card, and take a bunch of credit. And I'll decide later if I want to scavenge the Femme or the Imp to get the counters back. I could also scavenge the Imp into a Parasite here. I didn't think about that one, but that would be pretty good. Ah, he trashed a card in his remote server. Does that mean that he was bluffing a snare, possibly? Um, I don't know what he's doing, but I'm going to scavenge the spam anyway. Hopefully it's not a snare. Possible I should play Corroder out first.
<laughs> There's an Astro script, and this is a Sansan -San if I if I know anything. <laughs> yeah. And you can keep your Sansan. -San. I know you've got another one, or at least uh, you probably have another one. Here, I'll just draw a card and take more credits. I've got test run. What does that get me? I mean, it gets me everything. <laughs> but what does it get me that's useful? Um, his remote server is compromised. <laughs> uh I don't know what this is, but I'm going to check it. This time it's Ash. That I will trash. And what else am I doing here? I could check HQ. Wouldn't be awful. He's got four cards in the discard. I could check there. He's got ten credits. So he can score off the uh, Sand Sand this turn. LOL. <laughs> Alright, so I've stolen two of his Astro scripts. Which prevents him from chaining Astro scripts. Um, if he reses a Sand Sand, I can just go and get it. So that way he can't fast advance any more things. Yeah, he says there's no more Femme on this Eli. No, there is not. Alright, so he's got something to fast advance. Maybe another Astro. No, this time it's just a deal. So he doesn't have the third Astro in his hand. I know that. Uh, I think I'll check here. See if this thing is a Jackson that he's uh, got sitting around. If, or if he's just trying to hide agendas. Because there was a point where his HQ was just really wide open. So maybe he just tossed one away. Oh, look. <laughs> he did toss one away. Alright. Got one from Kim. <laughs> 